Good morning, Ben. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Busy so, morning. Busy morning. Um, so welcome to our show. You know, we're doing a SEO to sales power to death, uh, power death series, power to death, power death series 2022. Um, you know, I put some uh, put an email out to the to the universe and ask for nominations for a brilliant dad who's running a business, um, has the ability to make time for his family, um, and also has compassionate for, for his employees. And, and Ingi, who is the owner of Clear Lane Trade, a huge um, LTL uh, logistics company, decided to take some time out of his day and nominate you, Ben. Uh, well, the nomination is, is appreciated. Uh, Ingi's a, a good friend and been someone that we've worked with for a long time. Yeah, no, I have a lot of time for Ingi as well. And for him to take that time out uh, to send me an email nominating you, I, I think it's it's truly special. And so I wanted to to really get to know you today here, and I want the world to get to know you as well. Um, Talk to us about your family, Ben. Um, how many children? How long have you been married? You know, just talk to us about your family. Sure. Uh, my wife and I have been married for 10 years, um, though we've known each other. And uh, well, that's, a, that's an interesting story. We dated for a while uh, in uh, our college years, and we broke up, and um, we... Uh, we're not together nor friendly in any way for about five years. Um, and uh, we kind of came back together at some point and uh, we've been married for, for 10. Uh, we have three children, uh, eight, five, and one. Um, our girl is the oldest. And then we have two boys um, who are fun. <laughs> um, say one is the youngest. Uh, what's that? Your youngest child is one? Yeah, one, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a little baby, yeah. Yeah, uh, so we have, uh, we're very busy now. Uh, gymnastics and baseball and toddler um, is, uh, you know, plenty of work in itself, but um, <laughs> but uh, we try to be as actively involved and, and uh, busy in, in their lives as well as in, in my business. Um, the business is seven years old. Um, so if you notice, uh, my daughter, who's the oldest, was one year old when, when we started the company. Right. Um, so that was uh, scary. But uh, at the same time, um, I knew that I uh, would always regret it if I hadn't tried. So uh, so we went for it, um, and it's been uh, um, an exciting seven years. Uh, this year, we'll do about 22 million in revenue. Um, we're, wow. We've grown to about 37 employees, um, and likely to add some more as as time goes on in the uh, throughout this year. So, very talk exciting. To, talk to us more about that business model that you've built up so so successfully. Um, so um, we're a freight broker. Um, so as as you know, Amy is a, 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 owns a carrier. Um, so we we partner with them and, and resell their services, um, allowing them uh, opportunity to grow. Um, and uh, the way that we started was a small office here in Southern California. Um, and uh, as time has grown. Um, we've opened, uh, uh, well, another office in Arizona. We also have employees in uh, Boise, Idaho, as well as uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, so um, our, our corporate offices are here, uh, but our intention to continue to grow is um, by uh, continuing to hire and open small offices um, uh, throughout the country. Yeah, very good. So, you know, we always see people um, successful, you know, like you, um, and I'm sure that there's been some tough moments. If you can think of one tough moment where you had to make some tough decision, one tough decision that, that uh, impacted your, the survival of this expansion with your business and keeping your family intact and happy and uh, balanced yeah. lifestyle. I mean, that happens probably once a week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, the one thing that comes to mind uh, 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 most or first was 
uh, last September, um, you know, obviously with COVID, um, our family had not gone on any trips. We'd been um, largely staying at home for the prior, you know, two years. Um, so we were, we had our first um, uh, trip planned and we were leaving on a Thursday. Um, we were going to LAX and I got a call from um, our customer service manager who, you know, we, as a, a small company, we rely on quite a bit. Um, she had COVID. Um, so um, we, uh, uh, we did take the flight and go to uh, uh, Mexico is where we went, but um, I spent the next couple of days uh, uh, backing her up and, and, and working. So I was still working, you know, you know, full, full time uh, uh, on that vacation um, and then spending as much possible time as I could um, off work hours with, uh, with my family. So when it comes to compassion for employees, Ben, um, what what is it that you do that, you know, Ingi thinks that you, you're you able to actually do that, you know, juggle that whole thing with the competing priorities with your home? You just stepped into someone's role there. Um, are, are there times where you, you, you blow a fuse or you get, you know, how, how is it that you are leading your team with such demands put on you? You seem like a really calm guy, but... I'm sure there are some <laughs> testing moments. Uh, yeah, no, there definitely have been uh, testing moments. Um, I've learned to pause when I'm frustrated, um, um, uh, you know, over the last, well, even prior to starting the business. But um, uh, but that's been a big, big factor is, is you know, taking a moment to process um, what's happening, what's going to occur, what what's the best, pass, best pathway forward. Um, but as far as compassion for employees, um, it, it's always been a very, very important part of our business as we grow that, um, uh, that we are hiring from within um, and promoting people from, uh, from within. Um, you know, being a smaller company and not having necessarily the brand recognition all, all the time, um, we take... Uh, uh, some risk, I suppose, uh, uh, on people who um, maybe have you know struggled uh, uh, in prior past careers, um, and give them a, a, an opportunity, but then also really teach them um, you know how to grow within an organization and right. um, become dependable, and um, as they are uh, become more and more dependable, we uh, offer them. Uh, more opportunity to be dependable. Um, you know, loyalty is uh, one of our core values, um, uh, and uh, we take that very, very strongly. And not only just, um, you know, with the expectation from our employees to be loyal to the company, but um, for us to be, uh, as management, be loyal to our our employees as well. Um, where to from here, Ben? Uh, the expansion, uh, more children, perhaps. Uh, no, <laughs> three is three is good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we, my wife and I joke that uh, you know two was not that hard. Uh, it was it was you know got to the point where it was very easy. Um, three is uh, much more challenging because yes. now now we're outnumbered. Yes. And where do you see uh, you know your growth going forward uh, into what is predicted to be a recession right now? Um, do you see that coming, or do you do you are you not seeing it yet? Um, we're noticing some some change in the market. Um, uh, shipment size is kind of uh, getting a little bit smaller. Um, we are uh, we actually saw an increase in number of shipments total, um, but uh, last month. Um, but basically the same amount of revenue. So obviously uh, shipments are getting smaller than they were, um, which, um, you know, um, as a business owner, that is obviously concerning. And you look at, you know, um, you know what might happen, um, but uh, we're, I mean, in comparison to other larger brokers, we're still very small, uh, despite the fact that we'll do, you know, 22 million. Um, uh, so um, we're just focused on new business, um, continuing to bring on new business, making the right hires, um, and 
Uh, I think that while you know parts of the economy will will see some um, see regression, um, we don't necessarily have to see that much regression if we uh, continue to focus on on just continuing to grow. So let's talk about that. You want some new business? Who is an ideal client for you? Um, anybody that ships anything on a pallet, really. Um, yeah. Our we do anything from cat toys um, uh, to uh, construction material. Um, we do a lot of uh, uh, motorcycles, ATVs, auto parts. Uh, we have a, a very wide variety of, of items that we, we ship. Okay, and can you handle um, hazmat items too? We do hazmat. Uh, we do basically anything domestic um, and Canada uh, with the exception of firearms and tobacco. Right, right. Uh, that's great to know. And how do they connect with you? What's your website and, and how do they, if, if there's someone new here that's listening to this and they want to, you know, get a quote from you, how do they get hold of you? Uh, they can reach us at logisticsfox.com. Um, and we do service nationwide. So whether they're on the East Coast or, or West Coast, uh, we do, we service all of that. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Ben, for being on our show. Um, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks for having me.